Hi guys, I am your host Amai and this is my channel Versatile Knowledge. Today I am uploading a video on how to keep your PC clean, smooth, fast and bug free. Yes, how to keep your PC clean, smooth, fast and bug free. Mm, this may seem too basic for extreme computer users but this is the truth yeah and this is one of the most basic things every computer user must do uh, this is a basic thing and uh, the first step of keeping your pc clean and smooth is by uninstalling unwanted um, unwanted applications or the software that will be installed on your pc go to control panel go to programs programs and features yeah you see the programs and features that have been uninstalled on your pc and make sure that the programs or softwares that are installed are needed to you just take a look at all the softwares if those softwares are not needed uh, like there will be many browser extensions very unwanted bug bug softwares that will be installed uh, you make sure to, uh, to uninstall those software uh, softwares from the control panel while uninstalling please take a look of take a look at the uh, software which you are uninstalling twice or thrice because if you uninstall any this uh, default microsoft applications or default system applications it may result in unexpected behavior so take a look at the applications which you are uninstalling and then move forward that is the first step the second step is to use a default system uh, cleaning system cleaning tool default system uh, cleaning method yeah this is a temporary uh, files cleaning method mm, open run and type percentage temp percentage and click on ok and uh, here there will be unwanted files and temporary files uh, browsing data cookies will be present here you can uh, you can delete those cookies and delete those browsing data delete those temporary files and keep your pc clean from the temporary files that is the default method that is step two step three is i recommending you and then i recommend you to install <coughs> i recommend you to install a third party cleaner called c cleaner this is a uh, i have made a video on how to use c cleaner you please refer to that on my channel mm, this is a video on how to use c there is a video on how to use c cleaner on my channel you refer to that uh, I recommend you to use this C cleaner. It may it gives you a smooth a smooth system using experience. Deletes your cookies, deletes your browser history, uh, cleans your registry uh, from unwanted registry files and unwanted DLLs. Mm, yes, that is very important and makes your performance. Uh, uh, it will help in improving the performance a bit. Yes, and fourth step is. Uh, I recommend you to use one specific web browser for your browsing and downloading activities that is very important guys you have to use one specific browser for your browsing and downloading activities uh, because uh, the web pages and displaying of web pages and um, extensions and add-ons differ from browser to browser that's why you use one specific browser for downloading activities and uh, next step is uh, when you i am you i would recommend you to use google chrome as it is the fastest browser and one of the fastest browsers uh, there may be many browsers i recommend you to use google chrome or mozilla firefox for that scan sake for next step is um, you enable an extension called ad block plus i have uh, again uh, to tell i have made a video on how to enable ad block on, on my channel you see that video mm. <clears throat> yes, I, I will. Uh, you will enable ad block plus uh, on your uh, on your web browser so that you will have ad free browsing experience. When even you are browsing, if you if you if you encounter any ads, those ads will be filtered by this ad block web browser. This is a very important ad lo ad block extension in your browser. This is a very important uh, extension. That is another step. Mm, the next step is mm, in on your desktop you make sure that you use lowest number of icons possible yes i have i have instead have put i have displayed many number of icons but this is for representation purpose only to tell you guys uh, to make you understand you guys that 
the more number of icons they use on your desktop or your home screen the more the size that occupies or the more memory location it occupies on the c drive when the more when more memory locations are occupied on the c drive that means mm, your os is not getting more and more memories memory for smooth execution of the computing activities that's why use less number of icons and organize it in a particular manner that is the next step and uh, another thing is i recommend you guys to use this software called battery bar mm, battery bar this is a third party applications that you can get a third party application that is available on the internet you can download it battery bar version 2.6 to 6.6 that i am using sorry version 3.6.6 which i am using it is a very very good tool which shows you the percentage of the battery remaining uh, the capacity of the battery charge time time remaining etc etc it is a very good tool mm. Another thing is for for engineers or for software engineers or the users of the PC who use their soft use their PC in the night times, uh, you can use and you must use a light filter so as to protect your eyes from strains. Light filter which I am using is the free so free is a free free software and that name and the name of that is Flux F L U X. Flux is one of the most most downloaded night night filters see if i'm using this software called f dot lux it's generally called flux i will display i will show you the difference mm, when i'm not using flux this is the difference the color becomes very harsh for your eyes eyes and when i'm using flux the color becomes brownish or somewhat golden color so that your eyes will be free from strain so use that flux Mm, another thing that I would like to recommend you guys is to use original operating system. Mm, don't use pirated operating systems. Uh, see there, I would like to see this is original Windows 10, that is original Windows 10 Pro activated operating system. I would like, I would always recommend you to stop piracy and start start using good operating systems. Uh, good. Uh, <clears throat> for the original operating systems and uh, make sure that you keep your OS updated regularly mm, so that it will remain free from all the uh, it will remain free from all the um, what bugs and uh, other things use uh, and another thing the next step is how to keep your computer bug free i would like to recommend you guys to use uh, avast free antivirus uh, if you use pro antiviruses uh, you have to just you go and just pers purchase the antivirus by paying them don't per don't download it from the uh, don't download the pro versions uh, in uh, uh, don't download the pro versions just for from the internet and install just you have you, you just pay and download pay and get the pro version of the antivirus otherwise if you are okay with free antiviruses then use this avast free antivirus i would like to recommend you guys it has a lot of tools built in and it is a most one of the most downloaded antiviruses mm, that is avast antivirus next thing is uh, if you don't want to use any other antivirus, Windows Defender is more than enough. Mm, you can update, you have to update your drivers of your PC, guys. Uh, if, if you update the drivers of your PC, uh, as, as in when the driver update is available, your hardware devices will synchronize with the software updates and make sure, and it makes sure that your PC performance is always good. Mm, the next, next thing is, uh, if you are using themes on your PC like the one I am using, don't use any themes that is downloaded from any malicious websites. Download the themes that you get from the Microsoft Theme Store. If you go to Google and type Microsoft Themes, uh, if you type Windows Themes, it shows a website. Let me show you that. Windows Themes, yeah. Mm, if, you, if you type Windows Themes, yeah yes yeah. windows themes and it shows a website that di directs you to the microsoft website yeah you go to this microsoft website and there are a lot of themes available 
free of cost there are zip files you can download them install them and you can get this type of beautiful visual experiences on your pc yeah these are windows themes default themes are, are, are actually good but if you want themes like this you can go and download these themes and make your pc look the way you want see these are windows 10 themes, windows 10 themes and these themes are available uh, yeah these are superb themes are available from the microsoft website itself so i recommend you don't use any third party themes use the themes that are present on the microsoft website only mm. and the next thing is uh, how to keep your how to keep your how the next thing that i want to tell is how to keep your pc mm, how to keep your pc <coughs> I'm sorry for that uh, blackout. Uh, next thing is, I want to tell you how to keep your PC uh, uh, battery good. See, guys, this one. Yeah, I would be doing that video but separately how to increase the battery life of your PC. And for now, it's enough. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share the video. I'll catch up with you guys in the next one.